Hi Aries, welcome to your general weekly reading for the 23rd, is that 23rd? 23rd to the 29th, and I think I've done all the other readings saying they were 24th to the 29th, oh well, never mind, uh, yeah, 23rd to the 29th anyway, let's crack on. So Aries, I've already shuffled these, let's see what the week holds for you. Uh, ten of Wands, so that's the Burden card, but you're almost at the end. So if you feel like you're someone else is carrying a free ride, or you know it's it's something's really weighing you down, trust me, it'll be over this week. Done and gone. Um, what's crossing you? Seven of Wands. I call this the Lighthouse card. That's you in the middle. You're made out of cast iron. All these sticks are breaking against you. I'm not saying it's not wearing, you know, you're like, here we go again. But you've more than enough energy to counter anything that's been thrown at you this week. So that's really good to see, Aries. And we have the Ace of Swords in your near past. That's great. So that was a um, Swords, a, a sort of, you know, the mental intelligence, the clarity, the cold light of day kind of energy. Um, so that's good to see there. The... Four of Cups, I'm not a great fan of the Four of Cups. It's a, it's a bit of a card, it's the myth card. It's like, yeah, whatever, so what? Down at the bottom, you've got the um, Eight of Pentacles. And then, oh, sorry, I, was going, I thought I've got two cards there. I've got the Fool up at the top. Then we end up with the Page. Uh, page of Cups. Queen of Wands, first time she's come out in any readings so far. Oh, another queen. Queen of Pentacles. A lot of feminine energy at the moment. And wow. And the Knight of Wands. Okay. So you've got four queen court, uh, four female court cards along here. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's really interesting. Not sure what it means yet. We'll have a look. And this guy can't stay in the deck. Just three or four times he's come out now. Um, energy on the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. So let's start pulling this together, shall we? <coughs> Aries, let's see what we've got for you. Let's get those into a better position. Graphic designer Steve's got to be pretty, hasn't it? Can't just pull them out. Okay, that works for me. <coughs> so you've got the burden card and then you've got the lighthouse card crossing that. So that's, uh, you know, almost at the end of it. You've got the energy to do it. Just, just you know... The light, the light at the end of the tunnel. You're almost there. Just keep doing what you're doing. You've got this. Uh, lovely. In the near past, you had a um, a new star, and that came through with a. It it was a, a lightning bolt moment. It's one of those something. A light bulb goes on in your head. That's what happened in your near past. In the near future, you 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 can't really get enthusiastic about anything. It's a bit like yeah, whatever. You know, it's like shall we go to the cinema? Shall we go to the zoo? Shall we go out for a meal? Yeah, yeah, I'm just, you know, it's it's a bit of a sort of flat energy. So we need to work out why that's going on. Because down at the bottom, in your subconscious, you know you're working hard, you're grafting away, you're being very authentic, you're being very genuine, everyone can see that. And then the head of the matter is the Fool card, which is just fantastic. The Fool is all about jumping into the adventure with both feet. It's about um, not caring what other people think. It's an incredibly powerful card, particularly in that one where that's your own headspace. So I don't really know why these two cards are like this because they wouldn't normally sit together like that. You know, certainly, I, I, I suppose you're ready for the new adventure and then in your near future something comes in. Yeah, the way I would see this is you're ready for a new adventure and your boss or your partner is going shall we just go out for a sandwich or do you want to do this other job? And you're like, really? I, I thought we were aiming for bigger things here. And I think you are. There's a lot of... of uh, you, uh, what's the word? Because this is all the same energy normally, you know, you, you've got a masculine energy under the card here, but these are all queens and pages and knights. So you, you're running the gamut of that kind of female intuitive energy all all the good stuff you know when we think of, of sort of um you know women don't go to war for example that's the, the easiest way i can put it if all all leaders of countries were female we just wouldn't go to war they'd sit around the table and talk it out you know and resolve it um <clears throat> so this way you're going to find yourself this is carefree innocent 
open to friendship, um, nurturing, complete control of your subconscious. You kind of, you appreciate what your subconscious is trying to tell you. Queen of Wands, this is how other people see you. This is an incredibly, I, I would say of all the cards, this is the most magnetic energy. You're really drawing people towards you. She is, um, oh, I want to say the word flirty, but I don't mean that in anything other than a fantastic way. You know, that lovely, flirty, open, chatty. It's kind of, if you walked into a room of 20 people, the person with this energy, which by the way is you, Aries, is the one that people want to walk over to and talk to. You know, it's like, wow, they look great. They're, they're open, they're chatty, they're, they're approachable. You know, so that's a really lovely energy to have here. So you're um, sort of open to experience, <coughs> which is the innocent, carefree card down here. Hence the um, pearl in the clamshell at the bottom there, which is open to receive. It's like, yeah, come on in, let's have a chat. Um, your hopes and fears are um, Queen of Pentacles, which is ultimately a safe space. You know, she is so uh, solid, settled, strong in her own um in her own looks, her own money, her own wealth, her own partnerships, her own relationships, the way she presents herself, that that she's just super calm. You know, the only other card I can think of that's that laid back is the King of Cups. So, you know, the Queen of Pentacles has got that lovely, um, knows what she's got, appreciates what she's got. If you look at the card, there's a snake and a bird there that are normally predator and prey, and they're just coming together. You know, it's harmony, harmony, balance, all the rest of it. And then your final outcome is being courageous this week. I I think if you don't, if you feel that in the near future things are not going the way you want and they're all looking a bit flat, then use your feminine intuition, that, f that female side of our brains, that intuitive, um, the word gentle keeps coming in. And I'm not trying to say women aren't, you know, hammer throwers or anything like that i'm talking about the energy itself so some energies can be quite fractious and, and brittle and, and aggressive and aggressive is not the right, right word a little too powerful for their own good these three here are all soft gentle energies you know they're great energies to have really powerful that last one is the two words that spring to mind are courageous and brash you know, she doesn't have a sword. She's got a shield. So she's using the shield to bash the door down. So I think next week when you're left with some, some options which are probably a little bit flatter than you really want, then you're going to use your your lovely sort of feminine wiles, your intuition, your gentler energy to just drive that top one there, that outcome. I've seen the bottom of the deck on this one, so I just want to shuffle these up. I should never... I don't think you should see the bottom of... Oh, that wanted to come out. Definitely wants to come out. Okay. Let's see what the other two are. Right, okay. So, right, okay. A couple of things happening next week. Um, yeah, it's at the moment it's looking a bit flat. It's a bit nondescript next week for you, Aries. You're a bit like, oh, what's the point? Um, first of all, you've doubled down on the Queen of Pentacles. So it's it's on you this week to provide the safe space for other people or for you to know that you've got a safe space in your own head. I know that sounds weird, but, you know, sometimes you put your head on the pillow and, and there's things sort of fighting in your head. And it's like, oh, I can't, I can't decide what to do with this or this partner or this partner. I should get a new job. This one just just opens the door and goes, hey, everyone, come in, sit down. Here's a comfy sofa and a cup of tea. You know, it's that mellow calming mindset this week which you're going to need because destiny is going to come a call in now in this particular deck which is why i'm reading this because i'm not going to make it right away otherwise i'm just going to right away deck out um this talks about fate being inevitable these strands of fate that this creature who is over our world is is playing with we have we have no uh no impact on it's just going to happen it's literally like winning the lottery, being in a car crash, um, I don't know, losing your job, finding a new job. It, it's real kind of bang, 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 cathartic change. It's not subtle. So there's a change coming in next week. Could be a change for the, for the better. I'm not seeing it as a negative thing. But at the moment you're thinking, oh, I, I, you know, there's nothing going on this week. Well, you can drive your own uh, future, yeah? I think if, okay, 
this one sounds to me like someone is going to offer or there's going to be an offer next week and I think it's a bit like here are four doors and it tells you what's through the door but it doesn't explain it in detail and I think you're going to use that shield to bash down the door that you want yeah and it's going to work out well yeah it's going to work out really well because of the ten of pentacles there uh, that talks about generational stability but it's about uh, trusting your your root you know, your, your your roots your background your you know what served you in the past is going to serve you again so I think you're in for you're in for a far more involved week than you thought you were going to be in for, that's for sure. I think you're thinking next week is going to be a bit blasé and it's not. There's going to be something big happening next week. Anyway, have a great week. I'll see you next Sunday for more of the same. Take care.